My book, Blueprint, is based on my 45 years of research trying to understand the genetic and environmental causes of differences between children using twins, adoptees, and now DNA. That research and other research over 40 years has convinced most scientists that inherited DNA differences account for about 50% of the differences between children on all psychological traits, their personalities, their mental health and illness, and their cognitive abilities and disabilities. What amazes me is that if you look at all the parenting books that are out there, and they're very popular books, not one mentions genetics. And that discrepancy is enough to say parenting is overrated because it discounts the importance of genetics. After 30 years of research trying to identify these environmental factors that make children and a family different from one another, I've come to conclude that they're essentially unsystematic, idiosyncratic, random, in a word, chance. In other words, I'm saying that parenting differences within the normal range, that is, excluding the extremes of, say, abuse, don't make much of a difference in the long run. And the important message from this is that parents don't have as much control as they think they have. Now, our opponents argue that then why are children, even environmental siblings, that is, adopted children compared to their biological siblings, so different if they have the same parents? Well, having the same parents is not the same as having the same parenting. If any of you have more than one child, I'm sure you remember that when the first baby's pacifier fell on the sidewalk, you sterilized it before you put it back in his mouth. By the third child, she was lucky if you licked it off and stuck it back in her mouth. <laughs> so parental relationships are not static. They do evolve. They are complicated and idiosyncratic and unpredictable. But just because the effects of parenting are difficult to measure doesn't mean that we should dismiss a child's environment as random as Robert said earlier. In fact, there's an impressive and long history you know, by psychologists, sociologists, anthropologists, educators, really frankly, other than geneticists, everybody I've ever heard of who says that there are myriad effects on children's development from their parents.